नमस्ते माय नेम इज डॉक्टर चेताली सामंत आई एम एन आयुर्वेदिक फिजिशियन अ डाइट एंड लाइफस्टाइल काउंसलर एंड अ योगा एक्सपर्ट आई प्रैक्टिस इन टू लोकेशंस इन बैंगलोर वन इज आयुषा आयुर केयर बिटवीन मंडे टू सैटरडे एंड एट अर्थ एंड वेलनेस अल्सो रोड ऑन फर्स्ट संडे ऑफ एवरी मंथ Ayurvedic panchakarma therapies really work beautifully when it comes to treating female infertility or subfertility especially the subfertility which is triggered by conditions like PCOS can be managed really well with ayurvedic panchakarma therapies done in the right time for patients who are say below 35 years of age and without any structural deformities in the reproductive system ayurvedic panchakarma therapies have a very high rate of success in uh, female subfertility or infertility the panchakarma therapies which are recommended for patients especially who have hormonal imbalances like or metabolic imbalances like pcos are virechana therapy which is a cleansing procedure it's a detoxifying therapy which helps in removing the imbalances inside the body which are triggering the massive metabolic and hormonal imbalance in most of the uh, female infertility cases they also help detoxify the effects of taking various other medications which may uh, clog the liver they may clog the colon or the kidneys and help the body have a fresh start we also do another therapy called basti chikitsa basti chikitsa is a enema therapy in which ayurvedic medicated oils or ghee or kashayas which are herb decoctions are given as enemas mind you unlike other enemas which are given just to evacuate the colon basti chikitsa is not a therapy which is given only for evacuation of stool or just for cleansing the colon Basti chikitsa is one of the most effective and highly revered ayurvedic therapy in which we believe that the colon is a very circulation rich organ we can bypass the digestion by depositing the medicine directly inside the colon which gets absorbed and gives higher rate of success and gives quicker results hence basti chikitsa is highly recommended in the treatment of female infertility it helps to nourish the reproductive system so for women who have been having good rate of conception however suffering from recurrent abortions or abnormalities or low rate of conception or even for women who have had unsuccessful cycles of ivf we do recommend them basti chikitsa to strengthen the reproductive system especially the uterus so that the conception is successful and the pregnancy is successful as well the other panchakarma therapy which is recommended for treating female infertility is nasya chikitsa In Ayurveda there is a saying which says which goes nasa hi shiraso dwaram we believe that nose is a pathway or a gateway or an access to the cranium or to the brain so whatever medicine is given is directly absorbed inside the in the uh, cerebrospinal fluid in minuscule amounts and shows its effect as we all know that the master gland that we call which controls the balance of all hormones that is the pituitary gland is situated inside the brain it's a part of the brain and that is what controls all our hormones inside the body the secretions of thyroid or the secretions of all the hormones that happens at the level of uh, ovary the uh, development of follicles depends on the pituitary system ovulation uh, depends on pituitary gland so we want to ensure that the functions of pituitary are also very well balanced so nasya chikitsa which involves installation of medicated ghee or oil directly inside the nose it's a painless therapy and a therapy which requires very less amount of time A series of nasya done has beautiful results in the treatment of female infertility. Last but not the least, we also recommend a relaxation therapy called shirodhara for the treatment of female infertility. Not being able to conceive, being childless has a stress of its own. Uh, we cannot even imagine the pain of couples who are childless. And uh, you know, although it's easier to say, but being undergoing treatments related to infertility. of uh, facing the recurrent failures and coming to terms with it is very difficult and create so much of stress both for the mother as well as for the father so uh, we recommend women who are trying to conceive to undergo relaxation therapies to get a control over their stress and to manage stress better stress plays plays a very major role when it comes to triggering the hormonal imbalances which lead to infertility hence management of stress is extremely important and shirodhara works beautifully in managing stress and is highly recommended